Hey everybody, welcome back to the I'm All Abroad YouTube channel. I just thought I'd put the 360 camera onto my car because it is coming up to 7am in the morning and I am going out for a fight at 7am in the morning. Yes, you heard it. I am going out for a fight and if you live anywhere in the world, apart from America, I don't think you can do this in America, uh, you can certainly do this in England, then you will know what I mean when I say I am heading to Audi for a special buy. It is Saturday here in Australia, and uh, you, if you don't know Audi, they have uh, specials on every Wednesday, every Saturday, and you can only buy them on Wednesday and Saturday, and you can only buy them uh, while they have stock, and they sell out like super duper quick. Like some of the stuff, they only get one or two or three in. There's not many at all, so you gotta like get down to Audi really early, and then when the doors open, everybody rushes in and fights and carries on to try get a certain item. So I'm heading to Audi an hour and a half early before they even open. And I thought you could come for a drive. So that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna drive to my local Audi. If you hear the car engine and noise and that through the microphone, I'm sorry. Can't do much about it with the 360 camera. I haven't used the 360 camera for so long um, that you know, I don't have any external microphones or anything for it. If I start using it a lot again, uh, I might buy some uh, external microphones for it. Because I like the 360 uh, videos, I mean, you may not, but, but I like them because I have a virtual reality headset at home. And I haven't used my virtual reality headset for such a long time, mainly because there's not much virtual reality content out there. So what I used to do with this 360 degree camera is film, well, for me, places that I wanted to see again. Um, and then I used to be able to watch them at home in like full size and real life. That's the idea with the 360. Uh, but apparently everybody, all the YouTubers, all the big YouTubers keep saying 360 is coming, 360 is coming. It's the way of the future filming 360. So. That's why I'm filming. It's, uh, I, I do hope you can hear me over the car motor. I'll find out when I get home. Um, it's grand final day in Australia for our version of football, the only decent version of football, the, uh, the Australian rules football. Forget this soccer and rugby and all the gridiron and all this crap. There's only one football worth watching, and that is Australian rules football. And usually all of Australia stops for the grand final, but it's a bit different this year due to COVID. And it's history changing, in fact. The, the uh, Australian rules football started in Melbourne, Australia, and it was originally known as the VFL, Victorian Football League. Um, and then it became a national competition where every other state could put some teams in. Um, but it was sort of like in the agreement that grand finals would always be at the home of football, which is Melbourne, at a particular place called the MCG, Melbourne Cricket Ground. And they had like 100,000 people there for the grand final. Um, but because of COVID, it is the first time in history that uh, the grand final will not be held in Melbourne. It's gonna be held in Queensland because Melbourne has uh, a COVID outbreak happening there and and they're not allowed to have any crowds and that. Um, so it's going to be held in Brisbane at a smaller venue with social distancing happening so it's not going to be like a full crowd uh, at, at the game which is going to make it feel really really weird. And the other unusual thing is that it's going to be at night time. The grand final is normally during the day there's usually a routine Australians have. We wake up in the morning and they have the grand final breakfast on TV. And you watch or go to a grand final breakfast. Then uh, you usually go over to, to mates and have a barbecue lunch. And then what, like watch the grand final throughout the course of the, the grand final lunch. And get on the turps, the beer. Um, and then in the evening, you just like continue on drinking and eating kind of thing um, but tonight's the first ever nighttime grand final I'm excited about that because I've always said for, for years now that now 
we're in the 2000s, you know, the 2020, that um, what we can do with lights and sound and entertainment, the grand final at night is the way to go. They've never done it. They've always kept to the original format during the day. And the entertainment, it's just not spectacular. You know, the entertainment's quite dull because it's the middle of the day, the sun's shining. So that'll be interesting. And I, I think that that's going to be a history-changing thing. I see all grand finals in the future being at night time. Well, I hope they are. But the uh, the same vibe isn't, isn't here uh, because the grand final's not in Melbourne. All of Australia always complains, you know, oh, why is the grand final um, always in Melbourne? Uh, it should be shared around. But because it's the first time it's not in Melbourne, all of us Aussies are feeling a little bit lost. It, it, it just doesn't feel right. The, the, the energy of the grand final and the excitement's like gone. They usually have like a big celebration week in Melbourne leading up to grand final. So they have, um, you know, parades in the city streets. It's a public holiday in Melbourne. Uh, the whole city is decked out in colours of the, the teams that are playing in the grand final. Uh, live music, concerts, all sorts of, of, of fun stuff happen grand final week in Melbourne. It's a big event. But alas, not today, due to COVID. Normally these streets, even though like the shops don't open for another hour or so, normally on grand final day, these streets would be quite full because everybody will be rushing out to get their, you know, alcohol and, and barbecue meats and everything so that they're home in time for the lunchtime grand final. But because it's uh, going to be on at night, nobody's in a rush. Here's my Audi. There's already somebody here. There's, oh, there's a few people here. Oh, they could be staff cars. No, they're not staff cars because the staff cars are down the back there. I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to get, just in case I don't get it. <laughs> but if I do get it, you're going to be the first to see, I promise. I'm going to show you on the 360 degree camera. Ooh, more people arriving. Oh, I know why they're all here. They're all here for the same thing. I bet you they are. Anyway, that's it for, for this. I will come back with an update uh, on how I went with purchasing my things, uh, if I get them. I'm back. I've got my Audi bargain. I think you can see through the, uh, the 360 that it's a, a little bit busy here now. It was, uh, it was a fight. I did mention it was going to be a fight. Well, it certainly was a fight. Uh, but that's Audi for you. I, I haven't done the Audi fight for quite some time, I have to say. Uh, I've, I, I don't enjoy the experience. I used to do it all the time. I used to buy every, well, what they call special buy from Audi when they came out. So every Wednesday, every Saturday, I was at Audi buying stuff that I didn't really need, but I thought I did because Audi told me. <laughs> anyway, uh, so today I got a lawnmower and a, uh, and a, a whipper snipper thing for $199, thank you very much, which is a bargain. May not be a bargain in your country, but in this country that's a bargain because Australia is really expensive. Um, but it's a, it's a battery powered one, not a petrol powered one. So I don't know if it's gonna actually cope with uh, my grass. I have very thick, Thick grass, that's not the right word, thick, uh, yeah we'll call it thick grass. Um, so I don't know if the electric mower is going to handle it, but we'll see. The good thing about Audi stuff though is you can use it, try it, whatever, if you don't like it, no questions asked, just take it back and just say it's crap and I'll give you your money back. But 
once I've got uh, motivated to put it together and mow the lawn, I shall uh, record some of it in the 360 just to add on to the end of this video. Otherwise, all you've seen me do is drive to the shop and from the shop. Car in front of us, she was sitting on her phone at the, at the traffic lights, which is an offence, but she's going lane to lane to lane and not indicating, which bugs me. Such a hard thing to indicate. Oh, she is now. She must have heard me. <laughs> Good on ya, love. One problem with the 360 degree cameras is when the sun's out like now, it shines on the camera, on the lens. So the colours and everything are just not as good. Uh, so that is one of the downfalls with the 360 degree camera. You can really only take good videos with them, I guess, on um, certain times of the day when the sun isn't directly shining onto the, the lens. This 360 camera though is very different to a lot of 360 cameras. This one's old, I, I got this years ago. This is a single lens. A lot of 360 cameras now have uh, two lenses or three lenses on them and they stitch the image together. This one is literally one image. That's why if you scroll down or try to look down underneath, uh, you can see nothing because of course the camera can't record anything underneath as it's a single lens. I think I explained that as best as I possibly could. There's an ambulance. Let's hope they're all right, whatever's happening there. And although I would love to show you where I live, it is the internet, you don't know who's watching, and uh, I always start and end all my videos at this particular park. Even though I don't physically live near this particular park, it is a good place to start and stop the video at this particular park. So I'm going to end the video here, and uh, we shall continue once I have my lawnmower assembled. is a, a, a double pack, a dual pack of the whipper snipper and the lawnmower and the, uh, the batteries. It's an electric one. The old lawnmower, which you see on that side there, is a petrol one and the wheels all bends and it keeps, um, keeps stuffing up. Anyway, what can I tell you? Technical specs of the line trimmer voltage, 20 volts DC, rotation speed, Thousand revolutions a minute. Cutting diameter, uh, 
230 millimeters mower voltage two times two times 20 volt DC do I need two batteries in this load speed 3200 a minute I guess that's spin I don't know cutting height six stages 25 to 75 millimeters and a grass catcher which I never use uh, the line trimmer has a five year warranty and the lawnmower has a one year warranty but Audi is uh, pretty good that if things ever break, regardless of the warranty, they need to replace them. Telescopic shaft to rotate from trimmer to edging. No, no load speed, up to 8,000 revolutions per minute. Guide wheel fitted to yard. Ah, oh, you can do edges with this. Excellent. All right. A 360 degree unboxing, how exciting. I've even got my coffee over here. I usually have the coffee with me, but as it's 360, I can walk over here and you can find it. Yeah. Alright, unboxing. The grass catcher. Something I will not be using because it fills up your bin. This is the line trimmer, but it's got the wheel on it as well, somewhere. And you can do the edging with it as well. That's, that's terrific. There's the wheel. I, I, need to, I need to screw it on, but it goes like that, see, and you think, hmm. Really? Right. Okay. And I'm not saying much, but I'm very tired. It's horrible getting up so early to, to go shopping. Pretty good. This is uh, this is a lever here to, to low or make it higher. It does take two batteries. And the handle. may not be the most exciting video you watch today. And I'm not very good at unboxing, am I? Usually when people unbox stuff, they go, oh, and it's in the, the, the grass green colour. But the, the little hatching thing for batteries is clear so that you can get the full experience of watching the battery do what batteries do.
the bayonet, so we put them the other way. This is very exciting that I get to cut my grass. If you've seen in my previous uh, YouTube streams that I've done from the house, the grass has been looking a bit ordinary, and it's because that other mower has literally been... The other mower has literally been crap. Checking something. I might have I might have done this wrong. Let me just check something. I have. See, I got the washer. I got to take the washer off. Then I put the screw in. I just realised that because the screw is square on one side. If you haven't got a virtual reality goggle set, by the way, remember, you, you don't have to get like a big professional one. You can get ones for your mobile phones, but you just slip your mobile phone in. And they're only like, in Australia, you can buy them from Kmart for like five dollars, five Australian dollars. So if you're in the UK, uh, like our friend Trevor, no doubt there'll be a discount shop over there where you'll be able to get a virtual reality uh, goggle set for like two quid. So check out, you know, all your, uh, you know, your two dollar shops, um, your Daisos, uh, if you've got them, and I know I'm pronouncing that wrong, Rimuru, Daiso, 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 yeah. He, he did send me a message how to pronounce it, but um, I forgot. Poor doggy outside all the time. And then I have to put up with that all throughout the day. A lot of people shouldn't have dogs. Dogs are not a thing that you, um, dogs are not a thing that you sort of like leave outside in the year 2020. They're part of your family. I've always wanted to throw like a, a treat over there to him. To say, hey, hey boy, here, eat this treat. And then you won't be bored. Somebody loves you. But he's a really, really big doggy. <laughs> I don't know if he'll bite me or jump up on the fence and attack me. But uh, I feel very sorry for him. So if you're learning anything, uh, people, from my video today, is if you get a dog, uh, like spend time with your dog, don't leave him outside in the garden. And if you are going to just leave him outside in the garden, don't get a dog. Save yourself some money. And like, Bella's not with me 24 hours a day. Just like when I had uh, Hoppy, before Hoppy passed away, Hoppy wasn't with me 24 hours a day. Um, but, you know, they had a lot of quality time with me. They, they weren't locked in the back garden 24 hours a day. This dog's locked in the back garden all the time. Um, you know, Belle's outside now. When I go out, Belle will be inside and she'll have a sleep on the, on the lounge or the bed. She's quite happy and then I come home, I'll play with her. But um, that doesn't happen in Perth. What is this? It must be very sad how people treat dogs. Ah. 
This will be. I don't know what this will be. Yeah, this is the handle for the uh, the grip snipper. Make sure I put them the right way. I suppose it doesn't really matter which is the right way. Ah, look at that. Ah, good. This, uh, this set, this whole set was $199 or $200. Now I think that's a bargain. I need a screwdriver. Wait there. Oh, I'll be back. Oh, that was close to the camera. Hey, Belle. What you doing? Makes you wonder why they don't have it assembled when you get it and they go oh we, we don't assemble them because it costs more but somebody had to put in these screws that I am undoing oh well uh, yeah there's Bella nice and close to the camera like how I made <laughs> you've got to make the noise. If you're going to put something together, you've got to make the noise. I am confused. Maybe this is why they don't assemble them, because you can't go that way. You've got to go that way. Maybe they don't assemble them because they would have as much trouble as what I'm having. It has to go that way. It can't go that way. Can it? Oh, yeah. Welcome to Assembling with Mark. Then, see what you do is you bend the head like that.
So this costs $199. If they sold it without all the excessive packaging, it might have cost like 50 bucks. Why do they always give you so much packaging? I mean, they'll say, oh, but it's protecting it, but it's a lawnmower. Like, it's not going to be on display in your lounge room. It is a lawnmower. So, you know, it's going to be beaten up and scratched and... I don't use a grass catcher, but I'm simply going to put it on just because the are here joining us. Look. Well, there you go. It needs to be the battery pack. What you're doing is sizing this 360 degree video. You can only charge one battery at a time. That's a bit stupid. Knowing that you've got to have two batteries in there to make it work. That's one of the batteries. Fully charged. That's the other battery. Fully charged. And that's it. That's me mower. Once I, I, it says they're fully charged, but I'll plug them in anyway, just to make sure. Uh, once that happens and I get it going, we will come back and uh, I'll show you me mowing some of the lawn to see how well it goes. So hang in there. I'll be back soon. I've got to turn you off now. So I think you can see one of the problems I have. I haven't had a whipper snipper in this garden, whatever it was, uh, is a bit long. It was like that ever since I moved into this place. So, now I have a whipper snipper. We should be able to rectify it. How do we extend this? Like that, obviously. So, we will try the mower at, uh, at some point today. But, this is the bit that I was interested in doing first because it looks awful. So in with the battery. Oh, here we go. Now, how do we work this? Ooh. Here we go. said either that I was any good at doing this manual labour sort of stuff. I'll just clean that section there for you so you can see what I'm doing. Um, I know that might work a bit better now. <laughs>
achieving anything, but when I look at it, I actually am very close, but I am. do more but it'd be a pretty boring video for you. I will end up doing it all, just not while you're here. So uh, that's a ripper snipper. I've never been any good with ripper snippers so I can't tell you how good or bad it is. Even the petrol powered ones I've just never been good. You've got to hold them at a certain angle and uh, I just don't know what that angle is. So anyway that's that. We're going to try the mower next. So see you then. Okay. So just going to try the mower now. I'm not going to do it all. I'm not going to mow the whole lawn now. It's too hot. But uh, two batteries. I don't know if you can see this on the, the 360 because I've got the camera kind of up high, but they just click in. They click up rather easy. This handle is way too high for them. There's a safety button which is here. Oh. Okay, what's it in? Okay, that lifts it up, that lifts it down. Let's try it on for two. Flies are crazy. One of our regulars, Trevor, said, I never knew Australia had a fly problem. They are so bad here.
I think you can hear now and again it really struggles it's because um, my grass is very thick very dense and uh, I have it on a very low cutting thing at the moment so if I raise it up it wouldn't struggle uh, as much it's just I'm lazy I don't want to go over it twice uh, I'm loving how light it is it's a very light mower which is great the old petrol mower you, you really built up sweat just pushing it the worst thing about it today is a bloody vibe And the flies have got too bad to continue. So I will do that later. Uh, wow! Whoa! The catcher is full. That could possibly be why it was cutting out. The catcher is chock a rock full. So obviously, as you see, it does work. Uh, that was my little birdie friend that I was sort of like looking for over there. Um, I don't know if you can see on the 360 cam, but she's over here now. Hello. She's just there doing her thing. Anyway, that was it for uh, a 360 video. If you watched it all, let me know in the comment box below what you thought of the 360 video. If so, I, or if you liked it, I will do some more. Not so much of me shopping and, uh, and mowing my lawn, but I'll take it out um, uh, to places that I make normal videos in and do a 360 video as well. Don't forget to uh, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button. It costs you nothing to do that. Uh, apart from that, wherever you are in this big, wide, wonderful world of ours, have a great morning, afternoon, evening or night, and we will see you hopefully soon again here on the I'm All Abroad YouTube channel. Take care. <laughs>